Hi and welcome to part 2 of the video on software engineering interview questions and answers from careerlight.com. What is tailored software development life cycle model? There is no specific SDLC model that can be used for all types of projects and situations. If none of the popular SDLC model suits your requirements, pick the closest matching SDLC model and modify it as per your requirements. This is called tailored SDLC. Identify how important is risk assessment and use Spiral's risk assessment methodology as required. Projects should be delivered in small chunks, ideally merging the incremental model with V-shaped model. What is verification? Verification means carrying out some activities to ensure that the software correctly implements the required functions. What is validation? Validation means ensuring that the software meets the customer's requirements. Tell us something about CASE tools. CASE is the abbreviation for Computer Aided Software Engineering. These tools help in automating all project management activities and assist the software engineering professionals in their analysis, design, coding and test work. What do you understand by cohesion? Cohesion is a measure of relative functional strength of a module. Its various types are coincidental cohesion, logical cohesion, temporal cohesion, procedural cohesion and communicational cohesion. What is coupling? Coupling is a measure of relative interdependence among modules. Various types of couplings are data coupling, stamp coupling, control coupling, external coupling, common coupling and content coupling. Explain specification. Specification means the particulars of the software required. It can be in the form of a written document, graphical model, formal mathematical model, usage scenarios, prototype or a combination of any of these. How does Spiral model work? It is a model that couples the iterative nature of prototyping with the controlled and systematic aspects of the waterfall life cycle model. It also affects the use of risk management techniques. What do you mean by software requirements definition? It is an abstract description of the services which the system should provide and the constraints under which the system must operate. What is Project management. It's a discipline to manage a set of activities to ensure that the desired objectives are met within the given budget, schedule and other project constraints. It must encompass all the phases of SDLC. What is a process? It is a set of structured and related activities which are performed to achieve a specific business goal. They can be categorized into three subcategories. One, Management processes, 2. Operational processes, 3. Supporting processes. Differentiate between project process and product process. Project process provides a framework for project planning, organizing, monitoring and controlling a project. Whereas product process defines a product in terms of implementation ways used to create the product. What is a phase in project management? A phase is a set of related activities. One may term phases as even components of project management. The five phases of project management are project initiation, project planning, project execution, project monitoring and project closure. Define process management. Process management is defined as administrative activities focused at defining a process, identifying responsibilities, evaluating process performance and identifying areas of improvement. It is a management approach focusing on alignment of organization's activities with needs and objectives of its clients. Describe the importance of a process in the production of software. Software production is a result of complex set of activities that vary from client to client and also project to project. One might try to produce software without processes, creating a chaotic customer relationship. The following points unveil the importance of a process in the production of software. Processes allow structuring and planning of activities needed for production. They increase the efficiency 
with a tab on the costs they provide maximum return on investment to the customer processes allow for planning managing operating implementing and monitoring tasks efficiently why does process improvement lead to product improvement process improvement focuses on improving an organization's processes to achieve results more efficiently the emphasis is not on what to build but how to build it reduces inefficiencies in processes to achieve same objectives with better utilization of resources process improvement highlights the following define organizational goals identify organization's clients align processes to realize organizational goals in order to satisfy the clients all this leads to creation of a more efficient product to satisfy the clients better process improvement leads to product improvement as it removes inefficiencies from various processes to build a better quality product in a more efficient manner what is scm what are the various scm activities scm means software configuration model it is an umbrella activity that is applied throughout the software process the various scm activities are identifying and controlling change ensuring the proper implementation of change and report changes to other stakeholders what is traceability matrix it is a document which maps the test cases and the requirements it checks if the application works as per the requirements and all the required functionalities are checked through the test cases what are the various types of maintenance the various types of maintenance are corrective maintenance adaptive maintenance perfective maintenance and preventive maintenance describe the various phases of team development there are four stages of team building they are forming storming norming and performing what are the various project management skills required to manage a project various project management skills required to manage a project are creating a wbs estimating project cost project scheduling project reporting analysis communication leadership and team building and negotiation what is a work breakdown structure work breakdown structure also called as wbs defines the total scope of the project hierarchically it is used to develop or confirm a common understanding of project scope each level represents an increasingly detailed description of the deliverables in the project this makes wbs deliverable focused the items at the lowest level of the wbs may be referred to as work packages it is an aid to bottom up estimation and resource planning why do we need work breakdown structure wbs identifies all the work that is to be performed for a product it clearly identifies the entire scope of the project it provides the strong platform for all the cost and time estimations that is why we need a wbs what steps would you take to build a wbs following are the steps we can take to build a wbs one create a list of major activities or deliverables arrange them in order break down each of the major activities into several smaller tasks continue the decomposition till you find a set of non redundant deliverables and the smallest level tasks that can be assigned to an individual describe the major approaches in constructing a wbs the major approaches in constructing a wbs are on major deliverables and sub project spaces on the basis of sub projects executed outside the project team on the basis of project phases and combination basis what are the most commonly used models in the software industry to estimate the size of a software the most commonly used models used in the software industry to estimate the size of a software are loc that is line of code function points and feature points tell us something about loc loc means line of code it is a metric used to measure the size of software for estimation 
mainly by counting the number of lines required to be written in the source code. It's mainly used for small sized projects. SLOC is directly proportional to the effort needed to build an application. There are two types of measures for lines of code. One, physical, two, logical. Physical SLOC is measured by counting the number of lines including blank lines and comments. Logical SLOC is based on number of statements which then depends on technology and language being used. SLOC is very commonly used for estimating the software size. However, it is controversial as relationship between SLOC and features of software can vary tremendously based on developer skill and experience. Different developers may write varying SLOC for a feature. What are the important things to remember while counting lines of code? Each counted line must contain only one source statement. Count all delivered executable statement. Count data definitions once. Do not count lines that contain only comments. Do not count debug or temporary code. Count all invocations or inclusions of the macros. Translate the number of lines of code to assembly language equivalent lines so that comparisons can be made across the projects. What are the advantages of using line of code as a unit of sizing of software? The advantages of using line of code are it is widely used and accepted. It allows the comparison of size and productivity across development groups. It relates to the end product directly. It is the easiest way of measurement upon project completion. What are the disadvantages of using line of code as a unit of sizing of software? It is difficult to measure LOC in the early stages of a new product. Source instructions vary with coding languages, design methods and with programmer's ability. No industry standard for measuring LOC is there. LOC cannot be used for normalizing if platforms and languages are different. The only way to predict LOC for a new application to be developed is through analogy based on a similar software application.